Okay. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steven, the salon guy here, and welcome to another Tuesday evening. We are live, and there's like all sorts of people around, and you're pro I have no idea who half these people are, to be honest with you. Um, all right, come on, Erica. So I just want to introduce you guys, and this is really, really exciting because we have whoop, Chris, who is going to be our live model tonight, and Chris has been on my channel before. Um, you know, he's a professional model. He's also an MMA fighter, so we're going to talk some MMA stuff. He thinks he can beat McGregor. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he's it. But, uh, but no, we're going to be talking about some... Yeah, we're going to be watching some fun stuff. Um, but I want to introduce you to Nicole here. Nicole is, uh, you know, she's showed an interest, so she's hopefully going to be part of our team. So I want her to come down tonight to experience what we're doing. And you all know Erica. They know me already. Erica is <laughs> here with us. Everybody loves Erica. So we can all leave and let her take over. <laughs> so, all right, Erica is going to jump back on, and Nicole, we can jump on with Erica. And I'm just going to talk about what we're doing tonight. So let's zoom in a little bit on Chris. And hello, everyone out there. What's going on, everybody? Um, I've done Cole Sprouse's haircut already. I've done a comb over already. Um, hello from Thailand. What's going on, everybody? All right. So Chris here has naturally curly hair. Now, usually when I cut his hair, his hair is a lot longer and a lot curlier through the sides and the back. The good thing is, is that he's had this cut uh, in between when I was able to see him. So this is actually easier for me to work in through his hair, uh, which is a little bit shorter in through here. And let's see if we can just go a little bit closer this way. So he does have a natural kind of curly texture to his hair. And... It's really, really great to work with. So I know you guys always want to see, you know, curly haircuts and stuff, and you're always like, kind of, you know, asking me to do things like this. So this is what we're working on tonight. So what I'm going to do is probably taper this from like a three and a half guard, uh, and then maybe three and three quarters guard, and work this in by hand up into this area. And you know, I I don't know what went on in the previous haircut, so I'm just going to kind of try to balance some of this out which it looks like there's some unbalanced pieces in through here. Uh, Chris told me he did go to somebody um, at a salon, and I can see, Chris, what you're talking about. He was expressing that it wasn't really blended properly and stuff. I can literally see it right in through here. So see this long piece right here? Like, that should not be happening. Look at that. You can see it right here. So this needs to be balanced, and we're going to fix this up a little bit. And then we're going to kind of – I'm going to cut some hair off the top, but I want to kind of embrace his natural curl because he does have a really, really nice curl, you know? So I'm ready to go. Yes, we're live. Wait, there's no sound? Check, check. One, two. Can everybody hear me? Just say yes if everyone can hear me. That's what I want to know. Because if you can't, we're in trouble. But just say yes, you can hear me, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right, so let's – let me lower this chair a little bit. Okay, there we go. Cool, awesome, guys. Thank you for that. Thank you. So we got 66 people watching. So once again, guys, Chris is a professional model, and he's a MMA fighter. He's a you're a jujitsu guy, right? Yeah, Bra Brazilian jujitsu. Brazilian jujitsu. Yeah. So he's a ground guy, which is kind of cool. Um, let me know in the comments below if any of you guys are do martial arts or any sort of MMA stuff. Uh, I definitely want I want to hear your opinion on the fight <laughs> because we talked about that last time, which was really interesting, so we'll get to that later. So now, for all of you guys that are watching that are professionals, um, I've done a video on this in the past, but for anyone who's in beauty school or who, uh, let's just zoom out a little bit, who is a, an assistant in a salon, one of the biggest challenges and things that I come across is actually draping a client. All right? Now, uh, have you done anything in the octagon? He's done boxing? Yeah. So, I mean, just real quick, we'll, get, we'll talk about this stuff later, but, like, what do you fight in? Like, an octagon or, like, a, like a regular? Uh, I have no MMA fights right now. He has no MMA fights. Uh, 2018 is going to be my year. That's going to be your year. year. All right, cool. But, um, but when you fight people, like, where do you do it? Like in a, in like a dojo or like a ring or something? Or like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is on like mats. Mats. Like, style, fight like eight 
times in a day. Yeah, yeah, tournament style. So it's yeah, it's like tournament style, you know. But I definitely would not mess with Chris, any of you people. <laughs> so back to this. So basically, for the draping. All right. Now, hello from in Romania. Basically, we're going to take this towel. Here's the mistake I see all the time, where an assistant will take the towel like this, and look at that. See, it's already covering the neck. That's a big mistake because what happens is when you put the cape over it, this is covering up. You definitely do not want to. This, <laughs> someone's saying it'll be the next Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah. um, so basically, what you want to do is take the towel like this, put it over his the collar, and then tuck it into tuck his shirt in. All right. And what that's doing is it's covering up this. All right, so there's no hair is going to get down here, but also we have all of this open here so we can cut it. So if you're in beauty school or you're assisting, like, you have to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, One-inch punch, Chris, can you do that? Hello from England. Do you know what Krav Ma Maga? Yeah, that's Israeli. Israeli. Yeah, yeah, he knows what that is. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty deadly, that stuff, man. Yeah. Krav Maga, is that what's it? Yeah. yeah, he knows what that is. Hey guys, we'll talk MMA stuff like later. Later. Hey Philippines, what's going on? But can he talk like McGregor? Fuck the May with us. <laughs> that was him, not me. That was him. <laughs> I know. Hey, fuck the May with us. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> oh, your grandpa takes that. Oh, cool. Krav Maga. Latvia, Latvia. What the hell is that? Ever? That's Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe, dude. We have more people from Europe than. You know, more people from Europe. All right, everybody in the comments, let us know where you're from. Tell me what country or what state you're from if you're United States, but we'd love to know. Ready and go. <laughs> you can speak like Conor McGregor, Belgium. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to start with the haircut right into the back here, and I'm going to be using a number three and a half guard. Let's get Chris. There we go. So a three and a half guard, and I'm going to start right into the back here. Now, typically what I do is I'll push the hair with the comb into the clipper blade. All right? That's, that's usually what I do because it's giving me a solid line and a clear vision of where I'm going to start fading and blending everything. Look down a little bit. So you always want to push the head down a little, not a lot, a lot, because nobody walks around with their head down like that all the time. So you want to make sure it's just tilted forward just ever so slightly. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing the hair into the comb, and then I'm looking and I'm stepping back. You always want to step back. Man, why is it frozen? Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. That It's lagging. I apologize. Never lags like this. All right, so now we're going to work into the sides right into here. All right, and we're going to work up the side area, keeping in mind that you don't want to go like super high because you have to match it with the back into here. So I have to be careful around his ear. <laughs> I apologize, man. I'm trying not to hurt this. <laughs> All the fighting and wrestling and everything you've done, you've got the, the fighter ear. <laughs> so we got to be careful. And who, who wants it? He wants advice for people starting. My advice is just practice. You know, practice um, in beauty school. Get as much, you know, outside training as, poss as possible. And... You know, that's the best thing. You know, we'll go over that a little bit later. But you can see what I'm doing. Is that cool? Does that hurt at all, what I'm doing? Okay. Um, I'm trying to angle this down this way like that to follow the natural uh, shape of his head. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in and do some scissor over comb and stuff afterwards. Now I'm going to spin him around this way, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. All right, I'm going to work up the head shape right here on the sides, and I'm literally creating almost like 
a line right in through here, but that's gonna, like a guideline, that's telling me where I'm gonna stop, and that's the shortest I'm gonna go, is right into that area right there. And then I'm gonna work up this way, again, right around the ear area. And I'm gonna push the hair into the clipper guards. Any comments or questions? I see like all sorts of, thank you. What's up, Stuart, my man? A fellow wrestler? Nice. Yeah, what weight class do you do usually? Uh, you don't even do weight classes? or Right now, yeah. I, we fight open weight in jiu-jitsu too, but. Open weight? Right now I'm about 175. Yeah, 175, so. I cut down to 67, 55, 55. Yeah. <laughs> Not me? Gee, thanks. <laughs> we both have good draw lines, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so now what I've done is I've basically created an angle going in from both sides right in through here. And I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm not looking to go super, super short on Chris's like taper, you know, because his hair is curly and I want it to look very natural. So I'm not gonna do like a skin fade or like a zero fade. I just don't wanna do that. That's not really Chris. And when you're working on clients, you have to also keep in mind, you know, taking consideration like who they are, what they do, what's gonna look best on them. Like in my opinion, he just, like he might look okay on it, but I don't see him as like a skin fade guy. You know what I mean? Like that's just, and I wouldn't do that, you know? Uh, I like to see more of Rockstar tutorials and you know. If you see anything, Erica, just like let me know, comments. Um, Request? Oh, wow. Morocco. Wow. All right, I'm gonna ask you all a question right now. In the comments below, just type in if you're a professional, you know, if you're, just type in, are you a stylist, barber, you know, like, student, let me know, like, who you are, because I love to know, like, who's watching. Well, what I'm doing now, right in through here, is now is where like the tapering kind of starts, right in through here, we're building this up, and I'm not going super high because I like doing scissor over comb right into this area, you know, doing stuff by hand, and then maybe going back in and maybe using, you know, another clipper guard, or, or I'll take like another type of clipper, and I'll use like a number, you know, five guard or a four guard. This is a three and three quarters, Stuart. So I started with a three and a half, and then I'm, I'm using a three and three quarter guard right now. Now keep in mind, this is an Oster Clipper. So this has the detachable metal blades, which are a little bit shorter than like the wall plastic attachments. You know? Cool. Yeah, let me know, like, just ramble it off, like professional, professional student, barber. One day? Stuart, you better get on that, man. High school. I'm curious to know, I never usually ask this, but like, how old is everybody? Like. Yes, I think they do, because they're metal, they're really sharp. So yeah, these cut a lot cleaner, in my opinion, and they're a lot faster, a lot faster to work with. So yeah, definitely. All right, so what I always like to do, no matter what, is take a brush and just kind of brush this off, even though we haven't really done much with, I'm sorry, we, I wanna make sure that all the hair is off. You know, I don't want to have a hairy mess. The client, you want to make sure they're comfortable, you know. So I always stop and just clean this up because for our own sake. And then also hair gets all over my arms and everything. So I want to make sure that, you know, I clean that up. Twelve. 
we have people under that aren't even teenagers that are watching. Wow, it's 34. I'm a grandfather at this point. <laughs> all right, so now I'm switching to the. All right, nice to see that. I'm switching to the um, wall magic clips. And we're going to just raise this up a little bit. And Erica, it looks like it's frozen again. I don't know why it's doing that. Hey, guys, just do in the comments below, just let me know if there's any lag whatsoever. And then if just put yes or no. Um, cause I'm, huh? There is lag? Yeah, it's lagging. I apologize. I have no idea what's going on. No, they don't. Not that I know of. Wall doesn't make metal guards. Mm -mm. No lag. Okay, cool. Yeah, wall doesn't make them. So I'm seeing that it's taking a little bit off. So that's the difference between these metal guards and the plastic attachments. Like that was a number four, and it's not really blending as much as I want. So now I'm going to go in with a number three. And there we go. The number three, even though I used a three and a half and a three and three quarter guard on the wall, I mean on the Oster, and then I'm using, I went to a number four, it actually wasn't blending. But the number uh, three on this is actually blending the sides in a little bit better, which is really, really interesting. Oh my God, Janice said that? Wow. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. If you can if you can watch a whole video and put up with some bad jokes of mine, I really admire you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, there there's people out there, there's barbers that just use these. I mean, there's a lot of guys on YouTube that literally just use these clippers. You know, like the Oster, like 76, the classic ones, those are like legit, like those things cut like a machete, but you know, they're real expensive clippers, but that's the real old school way of, of, you know, of cutting hair, you know? Um, so yeah, it's totally okay to use these. Thank you, Adrian. Khalil, the first haircut I ever did. Wow. That's a great, it's a great one. The first haircut I ever did, honestly, I was, I was in high school, and I did, I was doing like mushroom cuts on my friends, which back then was kind of like an undercut, but I wasn't shaving everything under. I was literally just, it was just like a bowl cut, like a really cool mushroom bowl cut. But that's what I used to do on my friends back in high school, which is crazy. <laughs> All right, so now I just raised the lever a little bit with the three. So now we're gonna go one step higher up. And now I'm just lightly, see what I'm doing? I'm combing and pushing the hair into the clipper guard. Because that, what's that? Yeah, I don't have Andy's Masters, but I mean, they're a classic, a classic, you know, clipper, man. A lot of people use those. What's that? Uh, yeah, um, Andis is Masters is the name of the clippers. That's what you're talking about. So yeah, so the best thing to do is you'll see a lot of times I've seen guys where they just start going like this and scooping. I, I personally don't do that because your guideline gets lost. And because I'm a hairstylist, you know, I'm used to cutting hair a little bit differently than maybe how a barber would approach it. So I'm literally building my foundation and I'm working up the head shape, you know? And I'm sure if everyone's a stylist watching this, they can probably relate more to me doing this than say a barber um, watching me do this. And we kind of all get there the same way. We just, you know, we get to the same spot and we just do it in a different way. You know, so this is the way I do it and it always works out best for me. Yes, it's, this is his natural curl. Unless you got a perm, man. You got a perm or anything? <laughs> yeah, this is his natural curl. And for those of you just joining us, as you can see in through here, this is Chris's, um, let me spin you around this way. This is Chris's natural curl. So yeah, he has quite a bit of curl to his hair. Let me just spin you around like that. 
You know, he's got really, you know, kind of thick, really, really good texture hair in through here. So yeah, and when it's wet, it really curls up a lot more. And when it gets longer, it's like ringlets, right? <laughs> so now I switch to a number four guard. And now here's where I'm going to start to kind of do a little bit of the raising up, the scooping. But then if I see it's not really cutting much, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to do both. So I'm kind of like scooping, but then pushing down at the same time. You always want to cut hair with a comb. I, no matter what, I'm always cutting with a brush or cutting with a comb because the comb is going to be your best friend when doing this type of stuff. Because if you, if you don't, all you're doing is pushing the hair out of the way like this and you're not going to have a clear vision of what you're doing. It's just going to be hair all over the place. But my opinion, barbers seem to know how to do that really well. So that's, you know, that's their thing. You know what I mean? They, they're, they can do it. Me, as a stylist, you know, and I get a lot of comments all the time. Oh, you're the best barber. You're awesome. I'm like, I'm not really technically a barber. You know, I can cut men's hair. I can do okay with clippers and stuff, but I'm not technically a barber because I do women's hair. You know, but maybe some people aren't used to saying hairstylists. All right, we got a lot of comments coming in. Bangkok, cool. Just learning on your own. The model has got the perfect jawline. Dude, I'm, I have like jawline envy, bro. What's I up with that? <laughs> Wait, what's that? Dude, that's sick. That's not weird. That's awesome. I think I was like 15, 16 maybe, you know, something. I was in high school. So like 15, 16, I don't even remember. But I went to beauty school right after high school. So, all right. So once again, I'm doing a little bit of scooping right into, right into here. Yes, so far I'm even Steven. <laughs> I am even Steven today. All right, so there's, as you can see, there's the weight right there. I'm gonna push this out of the way and comb down. See why you need a comb? to push hair out of the way. Even when you go like this, it's cool, and it looks like it's blending, but what's happening is you're literally just pushing this hair out of the way, and then when you comb it down, you might have missed a bunch of stuff. That's why I like to do this, and then comb the hair into it. You gotta be really aggressive with cutting like that. All right, let's spin you around a little bit here. Are you okay in this chair? I know it's not the most comfortable. No wall in my back pocket. Uh, actually, hairartproducts.com is where I get a lot of my mannequins from. Sometimes I get stuff on um, Amazon, uh, and I'll talk about the shears in a minute. But like hairartproducts.com, Amazon. Actually, in the description below, there's a link to where you can get my clip, the clippers I use, and the guard. So go down in the description down below and you'll see the links to where I purchase these things on Amazon. You know? Amazon literally is getting stuff from professional beauty companies. Like, so why not? <laughs> you know? All right, so we're done with this. Now I'm gonna raise the lever again, which means it's gonna leave it a little bit longer. And here's what I'm gonna do, a little bit of scooping right in through here. And now it's starting to really, as you can see, it's really starting to taper in nicely, right in through here. And I'll always go back in and do a little bit of scissor over comb. But here's where everything is starting to really work in together. So you want to just follow the head shape. And you can literally stand in one spot the whole time. Like, I'm not putting myself in awkward positions. I'm literally just standing here and working the shape. A what? Nate Gardner? Yeah, I know who that is. Um, yeah, man, actually, yeah. Yeah, so here we go, working in through here. How many of you guys in the comments below, how many of you guys actually do what I do where you start shorter and work your way up to the longer? Let me know. Just type in yes or no. Hey, Jason. Eh, I don't know if you need it. Nick, Nick Compton. I don't know who that is. The name sounds familiar. Nice. All right. So now we are going to switch. 
All right. These are some Hanzo shears right here. All right. Hitari Hanzo. Um, these are really, really great shears. Uh, my guy Rob, who, if you go to my Instagram page, the salon guy, there's a, a link to where you can learn all about shears right here. And these are five, these are 6.5 right here, 6.5 inch shears. And yes. Use the one, get the ones in my description below. The wall magic clips. They're not that expensive. Honestly. Okay. You go longer, you go the longest and then down to shorter. That's cool. Everybody's got their own preference. And now what I'm doing is I'm literally pushing this hair out of the way. And here's where I'm working in scissor over comb. So you want to really, when you're doing this, a lot of it is just moving the thumb like that. Let's just turn this way a little more so you can see. So see how I'm moving the thumb? And the, and the top plate is moving. That's what you want to do. And you really want to work this cut. And then you want to comb. I always say it's like comb and cut, comb and cut. And that's the best thing to do when doing this type of blending. And this is, this is where I've noticed a lot of you know, barbers are really, some of them are really, really skilled. And some of them, they talk about you know, doing scissor work like it's, I mean, it is a really, really great thing. But a lot of them I've been noticing are talking a lot about it, like they're not experienced doing it. And I think it's just, it's just as important for hairstylists to learn how to use um, clippers. It's the same thing for barbers. I think everybody needs to be a little more universal you know, but that's what makes us different and unique. Is yes. Oh man, that's a great one. I think um, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel has a hor any guy with a shaved head is a horrible haircut, in my opinion. The Rock, horrible. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. You have a cute name. <laughs> Bella, where are you from? What country? Watch her say like, I don't know, Egypt or something. All right, so here now I'm on the other side and you see all this hair up here and I haven't really touched it. I'm just kind of pushing it out of the way, just like that and then letting it, combing it down the way it naturally uh, grows. That's the best way to do scissor over comb is to cut the hair into the way it naturally grows, all right? Because then you can go in and cut it to make sure it really blends properly. Vietnam? We were just watching some Vietnam stuff. <laughs> we, were we were watching, hey, in Vietnam, do you know Master Wong? <laughs> I bust you up in nut. I bust you up in nut. <laughs> That's Master Wong. He is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we were watching Master Wong bust up nuts for like 20 minutes before we did this. <laughs> so let me know, the guy in Vietnam. Hey, what's up, Hazma? Oh, Hamza. Hamza. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, nope. You don't know? Oh, man, Jason, too. You don't know Master Wong? God. Go on YouTube and type in Master Wong. You'll see. He does Wing Chun. Wing Chun Martial Arts. Uh, chicken Attack. Oh, thank you, Khalil. I appreciate that, man. Sick Tune? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Is who strong? Yeah, of course. He just, I didn't do anything. He just flipped me. Like right now, it was so fast. I was on the ground and, you know, JR, Junior Tax, I don't know. There's a shout out to you. I don't know. Not really. It's a, it's a haircut. It's never going to go away. It's not, you know, I, it's nothing. I don't, I don't hate them. But all right, so let's back to this haircut. All right. So as you can see, I'm really working this scissor over comb blend in like really, really working it. 
And it's a lot of combing and cutting, combing and cutting. You know, you don't want to rush through this, but you really want to make sure this all has a nice uh, taper, you know? And that's the key to all of it, is a really, really nice blend, doing scissor over comb. And if you're, these scissors are really, really sharp, so you want to make sure that um, you're, you're being very cautious with how you're cutting. So as I can see from here, it has a nice, a really nice blend to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and uh, continue to refine it. Okay, that's the thing about scissor over comb is you're always refining. <laughs> you know, you're always refining what you see. Top knots are fine. You know, it's it's really whatever your your style is. You know, if you want to wear a top knot, then wear it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm assuming sometimes the people that are asking these questions are like 12. You know, like just wear what you want, whatever makes you happy, do it. You know, like don't be afraid to express yourself. You know, I wear a freaking bald head. <laughs> That's my hair. Master Wong, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You right? Okay. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm working in through the back. Now the first thing I saw right away was this was a lot longer in through here. All right, this was a lot longer. So what I'm doing is I'm combing everything straight out from the head and I'm going to cut it. Yeah, so the last guy who cut this, he didn't really do a great job. Sorry if you're watching, dude, but didn't really do a great job of really connecting everything. It just was a lot long. And now, he might have done that purposely. I don't know. He might have been doing that to leave some length and some texture. But to me, I can tell if someone's doing that um, because when you hold the hair out, it shouldn't have like really long, short. And I could be wrong. You know, somebody could have went in and said, oh, I wanted to add some crazy texture to it and make something crazy. You just never really know, you know, what people's thought process is. It's just me. I personally don't cut hair like that. I cut hair so that it grows out good, that it, it looks good right from the start. I'm not one to do any sort of crazy, like, techniques because I'm more about the client, you know, and it might look good for, like, that one second when we're doing it. But the client may go home and he may, he may be like, what the heck is going, right, Chris? Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like he was saying he had a hard time with his hair. And I'm like, well, I can see why. Be if I had a full head of hair, well, I used to have a full head of hair. And I had pretty thick, kind of wavy hair, almost like Chris's a little bit, a little bit straighter. But I had, like, blonde, dirty blonde hair. So... I don't know. I'd probably have something with a little bit of wave to it. You know? I don't know. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm cutting following the head shape. All right, let me readjust the camera here. Let me readjust the camera and zoom out a little bit there. All right, there. So now you can see. So now what we're doing is we're going to be working right in through here. And I haven't wet the hair yet, but I'm cutting this dry, okay? Because what happens with curly hair, when you wet it, it gets a lot curlier. So I'm just literally doing this all dry right now, and I'm looking to connect the dots. And cutting this dry is also helping me see what went on in his last haircut. You know, um, it jumps out at me a little bit easier. At some point, I'm probably going to wet everything. But for now, I'm literally just going in and cutting it dry. So then even though I did that, I'm going to step back and I'm going to start to go back in and do this. Scissor over comb. So my technique might be a little bit unorthodox in a sense because I, I just spent all that time cutting. But now I'm going back in and cutting more because as the hair dries, as you move it around, you have to go back and really check everything, you know? You have to check everything to make sure it's all blended properly. So here is where we're going to 
wet the top of the head. And I'm going to use my spray bottle because I think it's going to be a little bit easier. All right. So this is my Salongai spray bottle, as you can see here. It's got my logo right there. And it's like a mister, which is really cool. So you, you spray it, and then it mists. And the reason I'm doing this, cutting it like that, is because I really want to see how his hair is going to react, you know? And hair always reacts differently when it's wet compared to when it's dry. So now that his hair is getting a little bit more damp and wet, I'm actually going to be able to cut it a little bit easier based off of his natural texture. But it is going to curl up. See, now his hair is like really, really curling up. And you can really see what's going on. All right, so now, any comments going on or just, oh, you guys are like, you guys just like watching or what? You're not saying much of anything. <laughs> That's cool if you're just watching me. I appreciate it. Starting what hair, what? Yeah, so basically you're a hairdresser. Just go to school and learn, you know, like that, there's no advice really. The advice is to go to school Practice, listen to what your instructors are saying, and do it. <laughs> yeah, Dylan, I mean, this is going to go live, like, not live, but, like, go uploaded literally right after we're done, so you can go back. But basically, Chris has curly hair, and what we're doing is creating a haircut that is, is kind of, like, working into his natural texture, you know? So I did some clipper work before. And you know we blended this all in, and now we're working into the top area. Thanks, Yusef. I appreciate that. All right, so now we're going to be cutting straight across like that. All right. So now that we have we've cut everything vertically, going towards the face, and we blended everything in. And the way you check that is you comb everything this way, just to check it and you pick it up and go straight across, everything's connected in. And now we're going to work horizontal sections, combing it straight up, and we're going to cut straight across. Now, now this is where we're going to see stuff going on, all right? If there's any sort of, like, unevenness, if there's any sort of, like, you know, weird pieces going on, this is where we're going to see it. Because now I'm combing everything this way. So I'm taking a horizontal slice, picking it straight up, and I'm cutting straight across. Now I'm not going into the corners because I want to save this for later, but literally this is the uh, a very crucial part of the haircut because we're combing it and we're cutting it into the shape of what, you know, what we want. So this is where we're going to be working straight in through here, almost like a mohawk section. Uh, I don't know what that, I mean, like, you just got to work with, you got to work with the hairline. You know what I mean? Like, if there's an awkward hair, I don't know what awkward hairline means, but, like, a lot of guys, if you're a barber, you'll go in, and then they'll shave off your hairline, so you're kind of like, you know, that's one way to do it is getting what they call like a shape up, which is like taking your natural hairline and cutting it and buzzing it and making like a new hairline. Um, there's some good things and some bad things. I mean, yes, it looks really clean sometimes, but it's more for a specific type of clientele. It's a different kind of look. So you have to really look and see what is going on with the hairline and then how you can, you know, what, what are you going to do that's going to make it look better? You know, that's the whole secret to it. You know? Like, well, I don't know what you mean by awkward hairline, you know? Like, Chris has a little bit of, like, almost like a little bit of a widow's peak right in through here, which means that, you know, there's a point right here. So what he does, all right? And that's, look down a little bit. And that's totally fine. He's got that widow peak, right, widow's peak right there. I've seen people literally take this, shave it straight off so he's got a straight line in through here because they think it's going to be cool, and a sharp line, but like he's then screwed. He then has to get that shaved off for like forever until it grows, right? 
Yeah. That's what grows back. Seven. It's happened. You're not, to me, you're not like a lineup guy. I don't think maybe around here or something, but not like around here. You know, it's just you want something a little more natural. You know. What am I going live again? Every Tuesday, man. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we go live. I'm in the United States, so 8 p.m. Eastern time. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So here we are right into the very front. I'm actually going to spray this. It's drying already. So his hair is drying in the front a little bit. And I'm just going to spray this down. Because if I don't, it's the hair is going to fall right into his face. And then, uh, it's you know, I don't want to do that. So... By spraying it down and wetting it, it just keeps it a little bit neater as well. All right, so here we go. Combing it straight up. Now, I'm cutting a little bit longer as we get towards the front. I want to maintain a little bit of length in through here. Um, not a whole, whole lot, but like I don't want to go super, super short. But I'm cutting probably about, I'd say, half an inch to three quarters of an inch off and throughout the top here. Yes, hey Bella in Canada. How you doing, eh? <laughs> and that's not that's not to you know <laughs> that's I know you guys say that a lot. All right, so here we go. Here's the part that I'm talking about. Now I didn't touch this yet. This is that corner, but this should not be here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a piece right there. This whole piece right there should not be there. So whoever's cu whoever cut this last, he left that whole huge corner right there, which means when Chris is doing his hair, he's going to have like this giant piece that's going like, what the hell? You know, right? Yeah. Like he, even when Chris, when Chris and I were consulting before, he was like, yeah, like the taper was nice and everything, but then like the top was just like this big like disconnected. And I can see it. I can see exactly what he's talking about. And after you become more experienced in cutting hair, you'll be able to find those pieces and look for them. You know, you'll be able to know like why that's happening. And already, hmm? I don't know, man, like anything you want. <laughs> you know, use a pomade, use a paste, use my product talc. I mean, I have so many products that are, you just use what you want. Use whatever your hair type is, you know, there's, you can use anything really. It depends on what look you want. I have I have my own products, so you know. In the in the description below is my the link to my um, shop. Depending on where you're from. Uh, the morning, depending on where you're from, the shipping can sometimes be an issue. All right, so let's just turn him a little bit here. And as you can see now. It now it's forming a much nicer kind of blend and a much nicer shape going from here to this, from here to here. Whereas before it was this big heavy piece. And even combing it down that way, see, it's got a, it's it's all connected, all blended in now. And now I'm combing everything straight down, and I'm just going to work my way up the head shape into the corner right here. Again, constantly moving, constantly working in, and now let's do the other side. So the other side, same thing. Comb it all straight down, and I can see already there's pieces all over the place. So basically, this needs to be blended in. And here, I'm just working upwards using the scissor over comb method. And I'm going to comb it down again. And really, the key to this is like combing, cutting, combing, cutting, cutting. How many? Okay, how you guys doing over there? I'm watching from where? UK. Oh, wow. Nice. Are you guys learning anything from this? Just type in yes. Like, I like to know. I know you guys like spamming like requests for haircuts, but like, let me know if you're actually learning something. That's why I'm doing this, you know? Um, I'll break it back down in the end. I'll break it back down in the end. And you can always replay this video. You can always bring in like screenshots of it. You know? Screenshot me. Yeah, I'm gonna, you can screenshot Chris. You can screenshot my hair if you want. <laughs> I said, are you learning? Are you learning anything? Yeah. Good. 
I appreciate that. I mean, it means a lot. That's why I do this. I don't do this to like, I could be at home. You all know, I could be home playing Xbox instead of being here. <laughs> Safe? Yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's not like you're going to get harm, bodily harm from it, you know, growing out your haircuts. So do it. Do whatever you want. It's your hair. Do as you wish. All right, so now I'm going in and I'm really just picking the hair straight up from the head and I'm cutting everything to make sure it's all connected. Especially right in the corner area right here. Thank you. Oh man, that's great. Who says that? Leo, man. Wow. Thank you. That means that really means a lot, man. I appreciate that. I'm just, you know, I've, I've been doing this for like over 20 years or so, and even though I'm only 18, and uh, no, <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, and I've, you know, I guess it just comes natural for any guy who's been doing a trade for a long time. It just like, it just comes to you, you know? That's the thing. So, all right, so now what I'm doing is I'm really, really, really doing a lot of the scissor work here, and the key to doing scissor work is really combing and combing and combing and cutting, you know, like making sure that everything is on track, you know, making sure everything is really blended in and connected well. That's the key to doing, um, working with scissors. So now in the last front bits, what I'm going to do is let's spin Chris around this way so you guys can see in the front. I, how, you want to stand up for a second? You're right. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. All right. So let's go right into the front here. What do you guys think about Chris, man? He's doing an awesome job, right? <laughs> tough job. It's a tough job. All right. Look towards me a little bit. So basically here, here is a big issue right here. So you might say, oh, this is really long in front. And you might take this and chop this whole damn piece off right here, which what's going to happen is wherever you cut it, it, that's where it's going to stop. So if you cut it right here, guess what? The front hair right here, especially because he has a cowlick, or I mean a widow's peak, is going to only be that long in the front. He's going to have this little sharp line here, like little bangs, and this is going to be too long. So what you need to do is you need to really overcompensate for that and just skim the very ends right there, leaving a little bit of length because you don't want to cut too much off. Then it's too late. So you want to really know exactly where you're cutting. <laughs> I do, actually. I do. And, uh, oh, Chris, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, I got two chicks here, man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't play around. Intern, left and right. intern, dude. I got the intern game. Is the intern game is strong? <laughs> All right. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going back in now and refining everything and just making sure that everything is. Now I'm. If I wasn't talking and doing a live video, I would probably have been done or close to to being done. But as I'm talking to you guys, this is how I talk to my clients. Like we have conversations, we talk. That's why people pay big money for a haircut with me because we have a good, there's always great communication. There's always, a, you know, we're talking about a lot of stuff. We're, you know, it's a good experience for the client, you know, and I'm not taking my time doing like a, you know, five minute haircut. Ooh, it looks like it froze up big time. Are you moving the mouse around? Okay. Move the mouse around so it doesn't freeze. Yeah. Um, you've been cutting your hair for what? For. Wow. Cool. I forgot. I forgot. Oh. Yeah. Just go back to the Apple Play. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. I don't. All right. Thank you. So yeah, so now what we've done is, and here's where we, here is 
again, you go back in, and you. Exactly. See? They'll go in and they'll chop it right off, and you're screwed with this little piece in the front here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chris will do plenty of talking shortly. <laughs> yes, he's enjoying the, the soft touch I have. All right. All right, so let's just break. What? Yeah, 452K and 44 people watching, man. I don't know what's up with that, Jay. I don't know, man. But screw you. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is. I wish more people were wa would watch. It's a very frustrating thing I have to deal with on a constant basis. All right, so now we are going to... Now here's where I'll do a little bit of lining up and edging right in through the sideburn area right here. All right, right in through here is where I will do that. And I'm just literally going in and cleaning up to make this a sharper line right in through here. And this is very, very, you know, pretty simple right, right in through this area. So just going in and cleaning that up. Any comments or anything? Or? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. What happens is it'll say like 40-something people are watching, and then when we end the video, it says like 800 views. So I guess just people come in and they watch and they bounce. I don't know. I think the viewer number is how many people are consistently watching. Yeah, exactly. Tom, thank you. What's the question? Yeah, I mean, they're fine. You know? They're definitely good products. They have unique products. I have my own products, too. <laughs> Five days a week, man. Monday through Friday, I'm posting now. Five days a week. All right, so now we're working around the ear area, and I'm just going to be careful with Chris's ear because he will elbow me. <laughs> All right, so now... So you're just going to move the ear out of the way a little bit, and we're just going to get right behind the ear like that. They can, they can clean, they can condition, they can shape, they can hold. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of products. And if you're from Europe, there's a link in the description to my European distributor where um, you can get them. I'm from the United States, so shipping is a lot more expensive in Europe. I mean, shipping to Europe, so that's why I have a European distributor. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's relaxing. I have a soft touch. Right, Chris? Just don't fall in love with me, Chris. All right, please. No, I have a soft touch. So, you know, any, no matter what, like, if you have, I mean, I have a guy I go to sometimes who, he'll, like, shave my head and he'll, you know, do stuff, groom my beard, whatever, and it's relaxing. Like, hashtag no homo. It's relaxing. You know what I mean? So... Says what? Portugal, cool. Erica's part Portugal, Portuguese, right? Yeah. All right, so now, yeah, twenty-five is really um, from my line. It's really uh, something unique and something new. That is really a game changer, I think. That's my newest product. Talc is my is a great product. Um, Haze, bomb paste. You know, I have a lot of 
Tidal Wave, my sea salt spray. I have a lot of good stuff. How what? Yeah, everything is down below. Again, if you're from Europe, there's a link to where you can purchase the products. So what I'm doing now is I'm just literally cleaning him up here. And again, here is where I'll line this up right into here. And I'll clean up this area right around his sideburn area. But I'm not looking to like create a new hairline for him. I'm not looking to like shave off a lot of his natural. You know, I'm just looking to clean this up right into here. That's it. So we're almost done. We're about three quarters of the way done. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I've done like five of them. Yeah, I've done his. I've done like five Ronaldo haircuts, and I did his most recent one too. Like literally, subscribe to my channel. Turn notifications on and you'll see everything. Is what? Yeah. As long as you're doing it properly, it's safe. Yep. You know, you just need to know what the heck you're doing. <laughs> That's all. That's why I say go to a professional. Uh, I usually book 45 minutes, believe it or not. I could even, I've taken, I have one client, I take about an hour and a half on him. Yeah. He also tips me $40. That's just a tip. So, I normally charge about $75 for a men's haircut, and I spend about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and basically, it shows in the haircut. You know, I have a unique, I'm not saying I'm the best hair cutter in the world, but what I do is I have a unique ability to really create good shapes. I take my time, I cut someone's hair to let it grow out well. Like Chris, you know, I know the last time he, he couldn't get to me, and I apologize, it's probably my fault. <laughs> When did I become a professional? I'm not a professional, man. I'll be honest with you. I, I still haven't become a professional. No. Nah. <laughs> uh, 92. No, 94 is when I got my actual license. 92 to 94 is when I went to cosmetology school. What? Yeah, it's a, of course. It's a cosmetology license from the state. You have to take, take a state board test. What's that? Thanks, Chris. I wish this Chris would say that, but yeah. no. <laughs> but yeah, no, no. But yeah, so what I was saying is like I'll spend a lot of time and it, sh it really shows in the haircuts. No matter if I'm, that's why it takes such a long time. Like I just can't do this type of work in 15, 20 minutes. Yep, the salon guy. All my social media is the salon guy. Facebook. Twitter, Instagram. Fashion? Yes, I used to cover fashion shows. I did eight seasons at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, which basically I went backstage. Um, I filmed and interviewed models. I interviewed celebrities. I interviewed designers. I worked with designers, um, filming them, filming their collections. Literally, go on my YouTube channel and just type in the Salon Guy Fashion Week. Wow, Bella. Can you tell if Bella's hot? Are you, are there any pictures of her over there? Because I'm not. <laughs> All right. So, the haircut is pretty much complete. 
I'm just going to brush the hair off Chris, Chris's face here. You want to make sure you're always kind of constantly cleaning them up. I did already. Oh, I'll break it down in a sec. I'm just going to clean Chris off over here. All right, let me take this off, Chris. Ugh. And let me get some powder. If you want to stand up for a sec just to stretch out a little bit. Um, I'm just going to get some powder to wipe off Chris's uh, face and everything. And then we're going to style it. And then we're going to break down the haircut. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't even put any product in it yet. Oh, crap. I just, yeah, there we go. All right. So I'm just going to get some powder here. And I'm just going to um, clean him off because the powder always works the best. Close your eyes one sec. And you always, if you're new, you always want to tell the clients what to do. You know, tell them, all right, don't, um, all right, look, you know, move your head this way, look down, look up, close your eyes. You know, you always want to instruct clients on what to do. So keep your eyes closed for one sec more. I'm just going to keep brushing. And brushing the, brushing the face off is really, really important. Because there's usually hair everywhere after a haircut. So this is why this works best this way. All right, how are we on sound? Everyone can hear me still? Everything's going good? All right. So for Chris's hair, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to use Tidal Wave. Now for styling options, here is what everybody wants to know is how to style hair like this. So there's a few ways you can do it. All right. So now that his hair is shorter, the curl, it's still there, but it's not like 100% there. But the way you get that curl is literally, let's turn this way a little bit, is to literally use a product like Tidal Wave right here. And you spray a little bit on like that. And you, you kind of, since his hair is drying a little bit, what you need to do is you go in, spray it, and then start to mold it into shape. Yes. And that is what they're paying for, okay? So what we're doing is scrunching it, all right? We're scrunching it, and as you can see, you know, it's going to, I'll let something like this air dry. If Chris is like, oh, I want to go like curly or whatever, a little bit more texture, I'll let it air dry like this, all right? And it'll just kind of bring out his natural curl, you know, have a little bit of light texture to it, and it's going to look really, really good, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to actually dry Chris's hair a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and use one of my other products, one of my styling products. And then when we're done, we'll talk about... I'll, I'll go over the measurements, and then we'll talk about some MMA stuff, and then we'll be we'll be good to go. And I'm going to give Chris the mic. <laughs> All right? Because <laughs> Chris is tired of me hearing me in his damn ear for 45 minutes. <laughs> I just saw the buzz, but he can't even hear anymore. <laughs> How you girls doing over there? Good. Yeah, I have Snapchat. It's, yeah, the salon guy. Everything is the salon guy. On Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Tinder. I mean, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me like I'm a creeper, dude? Like, what? <laughs> who here isn't on Tinder? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I tried it for like five minutes, and I was like, yeah, this is not like working. <laughs> All right. Chris literally is a walking tinder, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> all right, so. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm trying to get a little bit of lift and a little bit of texture right in through here. And I apologize about the, um, the dryer. I'm sorry, I have it on a lower setting. So you can actually dry the hair. It doesn't have to be on, see that's high setting right there. And then that's a lower setting. It's still got the heat, but it's just not as powerful. So here is just, uh, Erica, move the mouse from time to time. The mouse on the screen, just so it doesn't freeze up. I noticed that sometimes it happens. 
What's that? TheSalonGuy.com. Yep. All right, so as you can see now, we're getting a lot more texture in Chris's hair from drying it. So even though it's not like super, super straight, it's still got a little bit now of a straighter type voluminous look, you know, with some of that natural wave in it, which is something you don't really see too often, which I think is really, really cool. See that? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and uh, we're going to use a finishing product. But look at that, all right? See how that nicely tapers? See? This is, this is what I mean about not everything has to be like a zero, like, faded guard. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can have a clean-looking haircut without it being a skin fade, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's right. Yes, I shaved my head earlier today. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in with Haze. And my product, Haze, right here, I call it like a dry shine uh, pomade because it has like a decent shine like a pomade, but it's not oily or greasy like other pomades. It really gives you good texture. And Chris uses this, right? Yeah. yeah. So he uses, this is one of the products he uses. Of mine and you take a scoop out like that and work it in your hands and it works in very very easy and it's got a little bit of, of pliability like a little bit of tack to it uh, but it goes in the hair and once what's interesting about haze is it goes in and it starts out a little bit kind of like you know like a light texture almost like a light paste but then the more you work it in, it actually starts to dry out a little bit into the hair, and it kind of, the hair absorbs it in. I've noticed that. And it's really, really great for working. It's got a great work, workability factor to it. You know, I've noticed that, and I've been hearing that from a lot of my clients that use this stuff. They're like, man, this stuff is sick. Like, you put it in, and you can leave it a little more of like a textured, kind of wet look almost. So it ha see how it does have that shine? But then the more you kind of work it in through the hair, and actually the hair soaks it up a little bit and then it starts to turn into like almost like a more matte finish which is really really interesting i don't know if you've noticed that chris with this yeah, yeah, yeah. like you actually can really really work it in you know so now as you can see as the hair is absorbing it it's got like you know it has a really good look to it you look to remove one second one second here that's good yeah yeah i think we're good to go and then just let it air dry, you know, just let it air dry and he's done. And if he wants to go back in and reshape it a little bit later, then he can. So that's basically it. I'm going to bring this camera a little bit closer so you guys can see Chris's hair a little bit better. Get a nice shot of Chris right there. All right. So I'm going to spin Chris around a little bit and I'm going to show you guys and break down um, the haircut. So what I did is in through here and to the bottom, I used a three and a half guard from here up until right into this area. Then I used a three and three quarters guard to about right here. And then I went in and used a uh, number four. No, I think a number two guard with the, sorry, plastic attachment. And then I went back in and used the three, then the four and did everything by hand. So I'd say it's about an inch long, right in through this back area. Same thing on the other side and through here. As you can see on this side here, same thing. It works all the way up, tapers all the way up. And then the top goes from about an inch to an inch and a half. The very, very front, I'd say, is about three inches or so, no more than that, because I did want to leave a little bit of length into the front to kind of give um, some good balance to the whole shape right in through here. Erica, I see like all sorts of comments coming in, but I don't know what, what they're saying. Riddles? Is that even paying attention to what I'm even doing? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> all right. So what do you guys think of Chris's hair? Can I have a, a round of a, can you type in, type in hand clap? 
if you're giving us a round of applause, type in hand clap. <laughs> He's got a nice clean haircut, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. All right, Chris. Now we're gonna talk, all right? <laughs> Now I'm going to, what's everyone saying? Hand clap. All right, look at that. Great job. You were the other kid. You said, wait, what the heck? Uh, hand, handicap. Oh, geez. Hand clap, not handicap. Hand clap. <laughs> I appreciate that. What does that say? Elf's, okay, Caleb. Perfect haircut for perfect. Yep, thank you very much. Necktie. You're over in the Philippines, I think. All right. I'm going to take this microphone and I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give it to Chris over here. So before I give it to Chris, because Chris does uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we're going to talk about MMA stuff. All right. So thank you for the, for saying that. <clears throat> all right, guys, ask Chris, I'm going to ask Chris right now and I'm going to ask you guys, who do you think is going to win the fight? Mayweather or McGregor. So here, take this. And I want to hear Chris's opinion as a real fighter, someone who's professionally trained in this, what you think. So here we go. You can actually hold that uh, just like that. Yeah, I'll just hold it. <laughs> All right, so I got Floyd. <coughs> Floyd, huh? I got Floyd. I got him stopping him in the seventh, but probably by like a cut or uh, swelling. Really? I think the Nevada is going to pull it early for the like judges. Okay. Um, See what we got. I think uh, Connor's gonna win the first two rounds. Floyd's kind of gonna show him that he can't talk to him, can't hurt him, but he's not gonna throw any punches. So they're gonna give first two rounds to Connor, and then third round, I think Floyd's gonna pick it up in the last minute. And the fourth and fifth are gonna be the ones to watch. Really? That's gonna be the that's gonna be the excitement. That's what everybody's gonna talk about. And then kind of six, seven, eight. That's probably when it's gonna go downhill for Connor once he stops moving his feet because he doesn't keep his hands up. So once his feet get tired, that's when uh, Floyd's gonna catch him. I don't know how educated the crowd is in here, but we yeah, can talk. We can talk more, but yeah. So they're saying agreed, agreed. Big hunt for Brazil. Money May in boxing. Yep. Tom wanted to know what your Instagram is. The Salon Guy. Everything is the Salon Guy. Oh Chris. me. <laughs> I'm uh, C A dot Lucci. So C A dot L U C C I. I'm on there. Just See, behind the scenes salon guy stuff every once in a while. It's yeah. good stuff. Training footage. You got that CA dot L U C C I. That's my Instagram. Yeah. That's Chris's Instagram. Fairly new to the game. Well, there's only 30 people watching, so. <laughs> Get 30. Yeah. That's Chris's Insta. So, yeah. So, Chris. The voice deep? Yeah. Got on that. Chris is. Um, Floyd or McGregor. So you think hands down Floyd's gonna win? Yeah. Hey, Rafael. I like Connor, all you UK people. I saw we had a lot of Europeans in there, but yeah. I'm uh, as much as I like Connor, I you can't you can't deny the difference. It's a different sport. It is yeah. what it is. So what do you yeah. think? Could you take on McGregor? <laughs> no. I mean I would be diving for the legs in a second, but if you say no, maybe whether I need to get to campus. Hey, brother. I hope so, but What's I don't up think so. The UK? How you doing? All right, so girls, come on in over here. I'm gonna jump on the on the computer now. Well, wait till you see. You've been seeing two dudes. Now you're gonna see two babes. Yeah, now you guys get the ladies. So although Chris, it's gonna get better. Although Chris can, uh, the two girls can hang with Chris. What's up? So one on each side, and Erica, you stay on this side, right okay. like, like that. See? All right. So now Chris is surrounded by women already. It's ridiculous. Can't complain right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you guys can read that? See a line in the top of his ear. I can't see that line. Can you see right. it from here? My, my, I said that. Oh, I got a cut I right here. That. I took an elbow like three weeks ago. Yeah. Is that what it is? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He's. I have scratches on my neck all the time. Yeah. That's what it is. And he also has like. The fighter ear because it's very really sensitive. Yeah. Right? You got to be careful. Let's him taking shots of the ear. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky right now. It's, it's nice and <laughs> nice and hardened up, but 
It hurts sometimes. Yeah. When you get the but, female hairstylist, I don't know about that. It hurts. <laughs> I know. I go easy. So go ahead, Erica. Jump in. What's say, that? say, tell everyone what you did. Where you just work. What do you mean? Oh, that's like, there. oh, I was just a cam counselor. I just got back. So that's why I haven't been here for like the past couple live streams, but I'm back now. So I was the one, I know a couple of people asked, I was the one monitoring the comments. So thanks for like the funny stuff you guys were posting. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had like a joke thing going on before. So people would post about like haircut jokes. So I want to see that come back for whoever was posting last time. Come back with the corny jokes. That was good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I train horses for, I don't know if anyone out there is actually like into horses, but I train mostly Western pleasure and then uh, I get green horses. So they basically, they're two years old and they haven't really met people yet or had a lot of interaction. So when I get them, depending on the horse, sometimes I train them for like fancy stuff and sometimes they're just regular like fun horses but i it's it's great m meeting new horses <laughs> yeah i have so one of the things that i do is i also in addition to training new horses i rehab uh old horses so i have one horse right now that used to be a barrel racer he's very twitchy so he you get on him and he'll kind of like his front feet will bounce up a little bit. So he has a very specific personality and like a way he needs to be ridden. And then he like takes a very slight foot, a very slight rein. And, but my other horse, I have a quarter horse who's uh, very stubborn, I guess is the best word. And very much more like a donkey than a horse. And so he needs a hard, a hard kick in the butt sometimes. So definitely every single horse needs a different train, a different training style, a different riding style, everything. I'm a city boy, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've been a horse maybe once, like a pony. I'd be, I'd be scared, yeah. And if anything's bigger than me, like, can kill me, then like, it's not a hobby. Like, that's not, that's just like a trap <laughs> for me. I'm small. I, I can't be playing those games. See, I'm small too, and I always, I always wound up being like the only one at, at camp who knew how to ride horses. So I'd be the tiniest person, and they put me on like the biggest, meanest horse because I was, I was actually able to keep him in line. So being small doesn't stop you from anything, Erica. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's. Yeah. Back to the models. So, Back to the models. Off topic. Man. If someone like clicks on the the video right now, it's like it says haircut, and like we're talking about horses right now. It's like Steven, so off. Like, really people. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Like you're not even on the video anymore. We're just talking about horses. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the real topic. Between, like, out of the girls here, do you prefer a guy with like Chris's hair like that? Do you like a shorter haircut? Do you like? Shaved head. I mean, what's your opinion? Like guys with longer hair? Here, take this here. So my phone's ringing. Go ahead. What's your oh, my, oh, am I answering that question? That's what he's asking. For the men. Oh. Before. Yeah, so like, oh. what, do you, what do you prefer? Do you like Do you like this haircut? What do you think oh. of this haircut on Chris? I liked it. It was good. It's good. See it's good. Texture yeah. wave? See that? Yeah, yeah, I do. I like how it's like shorter and it gets longer in the front. Mm -hmm. It's a good style. I think someone said it was a good style for like his face shape, which is yeah, yeah. like a longer face shape, but like a shorter haircut. It like works well. Yeah. What do you think, Nicole? Do you like a style like this? Or I mean... Give it, give it the mic. Oh, I forgot. She's okay. culture girls. Do you like the man buns? <laughs> yeah, I love long hair. Oh, so, true. yeah. <laughs> no, this long on top is fine. I can deal with that, you know, because not, not everyone can take care of long, luscious manes. <laughs> yeah, right. it takes a lot. Yeah. I, I want to see guys who can like, work hard like maintain that hairstyle. I want to see a guy who can maintain a hairstyle. Dude, like I that. maintain this, man. <laughs> this is a lot of work up here, you know what I mean? Yeah, guys don't know the struggle of long hair, so I want to see a guy who can actually do that. The hair struggle is real. My hair is going to even say how difficult. This is so difficult. <laughs> no. All right. So anyway, I think we're done. I've kept them here long enough. Chris has been sitting in this chair. You can't even walk anymore. So last time his wallet was in his pants and it was like the most uncomfortable thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you all right? But it was oh, a live good. video. Yeah. It was like you could just before. stand up anytime and take it out. I didn't think of it. Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah. That was Sorry. a long time ago. Well, anyway, guys, thank you all. Don't go. Oh, man. Um, Hey, Oscar, what's going on? Anyway, guys, Steven, you've heard you used to do karate. Um, Matchup? No, no, no. I studied literally kung fu for like five minutes. 
<laughs> I mean, it was such a long time ago. I had some defensive training in a police academy I went through a long time ago, but I can't take on a Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy. I mean, like, I'll be done. You know what I mean? I just, I'm more of like, I'm, I'm one of those guys where it's like, if you get me full of rage, I just will like, like try to punch, you know, anything strong, but, but the, he will go like, eh, eh, uh, and I'm done. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, I don't like, I don't want to fight. You know what I mean? But like, I'm one of those guys, if you get me pissed off, it's going to be crazy, dude. I'm going to get enraged because I've, I've been like that. Um, yes, you're in Vietnam. I want to see that in person. Someone like snapping a neck and like killing someone. They're not like an I'm not volunteering. Yeah, but it's like you've seen in movies. It's Just watch movie. Master Wong, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Master Wong will fuck you up and hit you a nut. <laughs> shout out Master Wong. Yeah, shout out to Master Wong, man. He's awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. As always, my man, for being a great model and uh, for you girls for being a part of tonight's stream. And you can rewatch this. Um, and don't forget, tomorrow I have an interesting video where I'm doing a shaving cream review and a pomade on a model, which is interesting. I don't really do a lot of review stuff. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more videos. Go ahead and stop the stream. What a salon guy. <laughs> Bye. All right. See you guys.